Indian stock market exchanges and indices explained. So now the thing is that India is booming economy and engine of growth to many of the cases to the world. India stock exchange equate to the less than 3% of the total global market capitalization as of the 2022. So here I'm going to tell you about how the stock market actually works. First, the most of the trading uh, in the Indian stock market takes place on the two stock exchanges. One is the Bombay Stock Exchange and the second is National Stock Exchange. The BSE has been in existence from 1875 and NSE is relatively new 1992. Uh, and uh, the standard trading started in 1994. However, both exchanges follow the same traditional mechanism uh, of trading, um, trading hour, settlement process and everything. In June 2023, uh, BSE has around 5,657 listed firms, whereas the NSE has around 2,137 one. So you can see almost half, less than half in the NSE. Now, almost all the significant firms in India are so are listed in both the stock exchange. Okay, dono Now, the BSE is the older stock market, but NSE is the greatest and the largest stock market okay in form of volume although there are less farms are there but volume is higher and both exchanges complete for uh, the order flow that leads to uh, reduced cost market efficiency and innovation now when it comes to the trading mechanism how that thing happens so trading at both exchanges take place through an open electronic limit uh, order book in which order matching is done by the trading computer okay and there is no market makers and the entire process is order driven. So which means that market orders placed by investors are automatically uh, matched with the best limit orders. So as a result, buyers and sellers remain anonymous. So you don't know whom you are selling, you don't know from whom you are buying. The advantages of an order driven market is um, it brings uh, more transparency by displaying all buys and, uh, and sell orders. Uh, in the trading system. However, the absence of market makers, there is no guarantee that the orders will be executed. So all orders in the trading system need to be placed through broker. This is the importance of a broker and many of which provides an entire trading facility uh, to retail customers. So individual institutional investors can also take advantage of the direct market access or the DMA options which they use in the trading uh, terminals provided by the brokers and placing orders directly in the stock market in the trading system. Now remember that settlement and trading hours if we talk about so equity spots uh, uh, markets uh, follow a T plus one ruling settlement and this means that any trade uh, taking place on Monday uh, gets settled by Tuesday okay and all trading on stock exchange takes place between 9 15 a.m. to 3 30 p.m. Indian Standard Time and uh, Monday through the Friday delivery of shares must be made uh, in um, uh, dematerialized form and each exchange um, has its own clearing hours okay and uh, there is a settlement risk by serving as a central uh, counterparty now what are the market indices so there are two prominent market indices are there Sensex and Nifty we do heard our Sensex is going up Sensex is going low what is this Sensex is the oldest market index for the equities so what is this this includes shares of 30 firms listed on the bse it was created in 1986 provided time series data from april 1979 onward okay so another index is standard uh, and poor cnx nifty which is uh, it includes 50 that was around 30 here 50 shares listed in the nse and it was created in 1996 what is the market regulation the overall responsibility of the development and the regulation then the supervision of the stock market rest with the securities and exchange board of india so sebi controls everything so which was formed in the 1992 as an independent authority now since then sebi is considerably tried to lay down the market rules in line and many of the new rules people are breaking they are going to jail and a lot of things but like in the recent times there are many tv series are also found on this now investing in Indian market. So Indian uh, India started uh, permitting outside investments only in the 1990s. So the foreign investments are classified into two categories, FDI and FPI, foreign direct investment and foreign portfolio investment. So all the investment in which an investor takes part um, is in a day-to-day -day management and operations 
uh, of the company are treated as FDI, whereas the investment in shares without any control over the management and operations are treated as FPI, the portfolio part. Now, for making the portfolio investment in India, one should be registered either as a foreign invest institutional uh, investor or FII, or uh, one has to have a sub accounts of one of the registered FII. Both registrations are granted by the market regulator SEBI. Now, foreign institutional uh, investors mainly consist of mutual fund, pension fund, this endowment is there, so, um, sovereign wealth fund is there, insurance companies, banks, asset management companies are there. At present, India doesn't allow any foreign individuals to invest directly in Indian stock market. However, high net worth individuals uh, like uh, those who have net worth of at least five, 50 million dollars can register a sub account in the FII. The fun fact is that uh, India has the fifth largest economy in the world by GDP, uh, which is around 3.4 trillion dollars. Okay, now foreign institutional investors and their sub accounts can invest uh, directly in any of the stock markets at any of the stock exchanges as well. And if I has also invest in the unlisted security as well. Now there are restrictions on investment ceilings as well. The government of India prescribes the FDI limit and different ceilings have been prescribed for different sectors. Over a period of time, the government has been progressively increasing the ceilings every time. So as a result of that, you are maybe like thinking like, what is this SEBI is doing? They are, they are like choking me to death. The answer is many of the cases, it's true. But it needs to be done for the proper beneficial uh, ways to the Indian government and the normal people as well. The investment for foreign entities is also possible as I have said. So this is the present scenario. And what is the main market of India? The main stock market of India is the Bombay Stock Exchange, which has around 5,657 listed firms still today. So what is the largest company on the Indian stock market? Uh, is the Reliance Industries with a market share of $200 billion uh, as of uh, July 30th, 2023. Now can Americans, invest in Indian stock market, which a lot of money from coming from US is coming, answer is yes they can, Americans can invest in Indian stock market. There are few ways of doing such as that the investing in the exchange trade funds that is ETFs and purchasing of American depository receipts ADR uh, of the company you wish to invest in. So this is you can do. So the bottom line is emerging markets like India are fast becoming um, engines to future growth. So currently only a very low percentage of household savings of India's are invested in the domestic stock market uh, but with the gross domestic product growing around 5% annually since 2017 and a stable financial market we might see a more money joining the race.